Well, hello there and good day. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP, and today we're talking about bringing in Grand Edition and how to set up multiplayer both in person and online. Right off the bat, let's take a quick look at the most important things you need to play Brigandine multiplayer. Number one is a copy of Brigandine Grand Edition. The Legend of Forcina does not have multiplayer, and to my knowledge, The Legend of Renarzia is not going to have multiplayer either, so this is still going to be the only Brigandine multiplayer experience out there. Number two, you need a way to play Brigandine on your computer. I recommend an emulator, particularly EPSXE. Number three, you need an internet connection. How else are you watching this again? Number four, probably most importantly, is you need some sort of virtual desktop software. I have two recommendations, either Parsec or AnyDesk. And number five, patience. This is an art, not a science. There's a lot of opinion on how to set up controls. There's a lot of things you have to do to figure it out. It'll take time. That's okay. Since step one is self-explanatory, I'll direct you to step two, and two friends of mine have already made videos about these. Links are in the description, as always. Brassity Trigger's on the left, Falco's and R's on the right. We do multiplayers all the time. So this is tried and tested stuff on how to set up Brigandine on your computer. Also, help is always available on the Brigandine Discord and the Brigandine Engine site. Links are in the description down below. Step 3 is also somewhat self-explanatory, but Step 4 is where it gets tricky. Please note up front, virtual desktop software allows your friends and whoever else you choose to connect to your computer and to operate it from afar as if they were you operating it from your chair. Only allow people you trust to connect. With that warning out of the way, let's talk about why this is a necessary software evil to play Brigandine multiplayer. Brigandine Grand Edition has what may be referred to as a hot seat multiplayer mode. So imagine passing one controller around. You're in a room, player one gets done with their turn, passes the controller over to you so that you can have your turn. Using virtual desktop software is the only known, at least, way to have multiple players on a single controller, since there is no independent controller for player 2. Please follow the setup instructions for your choice of software. Our step 5 for this process is patience for a reason. You will need to spend time setting up controls, testing out whether your guests can move the cursor correctly, whether they can select units, etc, etc. Again, help is always available in the Brigandy Discord. We have a section set up for multiplayer. Well, that's it for this video. I know it's a bit short on details, but trust me, we go through a lot of README files, and they'll be able to help you a lot more than I would be able to do giving you an amateur explanation of things. If you have any questions, one last time, bring in the Discord, bring in the engine, feel free to hit us up. We're happy to help. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like, share, subscribe, friend, follow, or whatever buttons. It really does help this channel grow. It lets me know what you're watching so that I'll keep making more of it. And I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And as always on this channel, La Paz.